Okay, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be going over creating a smart object in a layer with an effect, um, in this case noise, on the color paving layer, and then also changing some of the line work in the grid um, lines t from black to white. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my color paving layer and I can change this to a smart object by right clicking and going convert to smart object or I can go to the layer drop down menu, go to smart objects and convert to smart object. So now in my layer you can see it gives the icon has changed, it shows me um, the area, the selection in the bottom right corner of the layer and that's how I know that it's a smart object. Now I'm gonna apply a filter, so I'm gonna go to filter, noise, add noise and when I do this, it basically gives the kind of solid fill color a little bit of a texture. Um, so this is nice for concrete or stone or other materials like that, where you can start to give it a little bit of texture. And as I change the amount, you can see that it changes the overall effect of the noise. I can preview that on or off, and I'll just go ahead and hit OK to that. And now in my layer, you can see that I have a noise layer, a sub layer within my overall color paving layer. I can turn that on or off. The little black arrow on the right allows me to collapse that back to the original layer, or if I click on it again, I can expand it. And again, I can always toggle the add noise on or off. So smart objects allow you to go back and change that information at a later time um, which is really useful and really handy so the next thing I'm going to do is change the color of the line work of the paving uh, grid grid line work so my original grid is on my DWG layer DWG uh, layer um, grid and I'm going to zoom in here just to see the grid and I want to select it so this is a little bit difficult to see with the noise of the paving turned on so I'm going to turn that off so I'll preview that off and zoom in again to the grid layer and while I have the grid layer selected and that's active I'm going to go to my magic wand tool and click and now you can see that it's selected all of the darkened pixels within the grid layer. So if I zoom out, I should have the entire grid DWG pixels selected. I'm going to create a new layer, and I'll call this my DWG layer grid white. And hit OK to that and turn my other grid la layer off. And I'm just gonna fill this in with a white color. So I'm gonna go to Edit, Fill, Select White, and hit OK. So now my white lines are appearing, and I'll go ahead and turn the paving back on so I could see those. And I'm gonna go to Select, Deselect, so I can turn the selection off. And now you can see the line work is white. So you could apply that technique with any line work. If you have a black background and you want all the line work to be white, that's how you would do that. Um, now that I'm kind of zooming in here, you'll see that the shadows are actually behind the white grid now, which didn't make a difference when they were the lines were black, but now that they're white, this is a rare case where I'm going to move, reorganize my layers so that my DWG grid layer is behind my shadow, my color shadow layer. So I'm going to grab my color shadow walls and I'm going to move that above the DWG grid line layer and now you can see that that looks a little more accurate. So that's um, basically how you create a smart object. 
with some fil uh, filters and also how you change line work from black to white. 